why China can do it so well? Because we regard fighting poverty as number one human rights. Why should there be so much poverty in America when you have so much wealth? Is that a society we want to be proud of? No, we don't want that type of society to occur. It's a situation where China is looking at where the U.S. is at and saying, we don't want to end up there with that kind of inequality. Statistically, it's more like, we're already there. Why might this not work? What's going to get in the way? How is it going to be difficult to achieve some of the aspirations of common prosperity? The poorest people in China today is much better than those half a million or more homeless in Los Angeles, San Francisco, and New York. China has come up from the level of Bangladesh when it was very poor in 1971. And now this level of development, it's really spectacular. So although the, the inequality is very high, but the peop, there is no people below the absolute poverty line. So that is, uh, I, it is also very inspiring for us. We are learning from China. Look at the uh, Chinese case. Uh, in the last 10 years, we spend roughly 250 billion US dollars and we completed the last batch of poverty uh, fighting. That is, close to 100 million people were out of poverty with this money, which means it was roughly one-tenth of what the United States spent on Afghan war, $2.3 trillion. Why can't the US government do some of these things that the Chinese government is doing? So what does common prosperity mean for tackling climate change? For every step of development, for every stone of development, you need energy, source of energy. If it costs $1 from fossil fuel, and if it costs $3 from green sources, who will pay this $2? Who will pay this? And how can the countries like Bangladesh can go on board for common prosperity? China emits a lot of carbon because it's a manufacturing center for the whole world. Should China be paying the carbon tax or the consumers of these products be paying the carbon tax?